Can you lower CEA levels? Have you ever wondered if you can lower carcinoembryonic antigen levels? Carcinoembryonic antigen, or CEA, is a protein found in the blood and is often used as a tumor marker in oncology. It is particularly significant for cancers like colorectal cancer. Elevated CEA levels can indicate the presence of cancer or a higher tumor burden, while lower levels typically suggest smaller tumors or less advanced disease. So how can you lower CEA levels? The key lies in effective cancer treatment rather than direct methods aimed solely at reducing CEA itself. When cancer responds to treatment, CEA levels usually decrease. Treatments such as surgery to remove the tumor, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy can shrink tumors or eliminate cancer cells. This reduction in tumor size leads to a lower amount of CEA being released into the bloodstream. Monitoring CEA levels during and after treatment is crucial for oncologists. A decline in CEA levels during neoadjuvant chemotherapy, which is chemotherapy given before surgery, can predict tumor regression and a better prognosis in cancers like colorectal cancer. If CEA levels remain as high or increase after treatment, it may indicate residual disease or a recurrence of cancer, prompting further evaluation and management. It's also important to remember that not all cancers elevate CEA levels. Some tumors do not produce significant amounts of this protein. Therefore, interpreting CEA levels should always be done in the context of the specific cancer type and other clinical findings. Additionally, non-cancer factors can influence CEA levels. For example, smoking is known to raise CEA levels so this must be taken into account when analyzing results. In summary, lowering CEA levels is primarily a reflection of successful cancer treatment. The best approach to reducing elevated CEA is to effectively treat the underlying cancer through surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, or a combination of these methods. Regular monitoring of CEA levels helps guide treatment decisions and detect early signs of recurrence supporting personalized oncology care. Always consult with healthcare professionals for tailored advice regarding cancer treatment and monitoring.